Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Stamry. Welcome to Tales of Zisteria. Last episode we completed. We have completed Lila's trial. Her personal trial, malevol trial on malevolence for her. And now we gotta go over to what is supposedly a Shrine of Earth. I did a little bit of research regarding my levels and make sure that I'm, you know, properly keeping up with everywhere that I go. Apparently, a lot of people actually are around level 20 and sometimes under, uh, and taking on high level bosses with no problems. So the fact that practically everybody in my party is above level 30 right now, that is apparently really, really, really good. And puts me miles ahead, so I don't even have to worry much about you know, whether whether I'm geared or not. All I gotta do is make sure that I'm using my skills properly and using food buffs properly and making sure that all the gear is upgraded. That's the one thing that I'm actually lacking apparently, is the gear. So I'm gonna have to work on the gear another time, but since we are here and we're about to enter this thing, before we start, I wanna see if maybe we can do like a, a buff, like a raid buff or something we can do right now. Uh, let's see, in every battle focus plus eight. Uh, attack, let's see, I kind of want to see if you can do an ice pop here, or art attack, uh, let's do a ice pop for now, that's what we're going to go ahead and use on everybody, there we go, and apparently we can also need to heal up some race for some reason, let's go and do that, use some apple gel, there we go, looks like we geared out with everything, we got a lot of peach gel, so health is not going to be much of an issue, let's go ahead and get in here, and check this place out, Morgal's Shrine of the Earth Trial, look at this place, uh, here it comes. What is it, Edna? It's my turn now, right? Oh boy, I am so excited for this. Wow. Wow. She doesn't sound excited at all. Has she been through the trial before? Lila's not telling us anything, but has Ed was Edna part of previous Shepherd's trials? Has she done this before? Because we know Lila has, that's for certain. Lila has done all this before. But has Edna? All right, here goes nothing. Uh. Well, that was unexpected. Oh no, that must be the Minotauros. That's right, and with him standing guard there, we're all in a real bind. The Shepherd Pawan? Lady Lila. You're as lovely as ever. And you're as creepy as ever. This seraph was also once a shepherd? That's right. Depending on how you die, you can transcend your own race. Strange world we live in. Strange world, sure. But we'll never get to the altar with that thing in the way. <gasps> huh? You're here for the shepherd's power, right? You're gonna take the trial, right? Right? Well, uh... So she's not the shepherd, then? Are you sure this creeper used to be a shepherd? Grating though he may be, the shepherd Pawan is renowned amongst all the Seraphim for having quelled over 10,000 Hellions. Hmm. <laughs> Seriously? You mean this dirtbag? Hey, mister. Edna's so lonely. She could use a big hug. Well, aren't you a precious little thing? Your name is Edna? Oh, please, mister. Edna's so cold. Oh, but, but there's a trial, you see? We need to get to the altar and... <sighs> Useless. Huh? Is that all you can think about? The trial? I mean, the shepherd is here for the trial and... So you can't get to your altar with that oversized steak face in the way, and so you want me to do something about it. Is that it? Well, uh, more precisely... Wait! Edna! It's too dangerous! Scram. Get out of my face! Now we just walk to the altar? Actually, uh, the trial is to quell the Minotauros. Huh? But it ran off somewhere! Turns out it was a scaredy bull. I imagine it'll turn tail at the first sign of us now. Right. Well, why didn't you say so? You stupid or something? I'm sorry. 
Well, fine, whatever. You just go on ahead to the altar. We'll track down that bull hellion and quell it. Okay. All right, let's get this show on the road. Edna, you're actually disappointed, aren't you? Let's get this show on the road. What was she disappointed with? <laughs> was she disappointed just that they had to... Oh, I th I know, I think I understand what she was trying to do. I think she wanted to see if they can get the trial done as soon as possible. Door won't open, it seems to be locked. I guess we're gonna have to open it from the other side. And the epic music is playing. Oh god. This actually feels kind of epic. I, I don't know what it is. The, epic, the music is definitely there. So apparently we saw Edna's cute side. Alright. So there's the cute side of Edna. And apparently the the guy that guards this, the, you know, the, uh, what is it called, I guess, the last shepherd, this Palavas or whatever his name is, when he slay 10,000 Hellions? What the hell? Well, right, evil, evil perverts. <laughs> well, that's, I guess, can be something for you guys to know. Evil perverts can be <laughs> powerful Hellion slayers. God damn, alright then. Let's see if we can fight this thing here. Shall we begin? Rock Giants, it's weak against air. Oh, this is gonna be easy. This can't be. Hellions possess objects too. Don't get too scared. Let's go and deal with this real quick. There we go. How much health do these things have? 4,000? Oh, dude, this is nothing. Yeah, we're proper level for this. We're Final good for now. There we go. Let's go ahead and build up some SC. Nice. Sorry. Is your sword style self taught? Yep. Your grip, swing, and focus need work. But otherwise, it's okay. Is that a compliment? Of course not. No, it is. Huh? <laughs> what? Yeah, at least uh, Mikulio leveled up, so that's good. Mikulio leveled up is good. So this thing is going to be scared of us now, right? Well, let's see if we can try to fight it now. It ran off again. We have to get close to it without being seen. Oh, we can use this, can't we? Yeah, this makes us invisible to monsters. Oh, it should make us less visible to monsters. Let's go ahead and get away from this thing right now. Get out of here, slime. I don't need to deal with you. Nope, get, get, get out. Get out of, get away from me. So where's the thing at? Got butterflies now. Oh, lovely. Oh, God, I don't like that sound. Let's go take a pound cake and dark bottle. All right, let's go ahead and run out of here. Let's see if we can run, uh, look for this thing. I wonder what's going to be at here. Because we just got to purify the Minotaurus. Now, what the hell could this thing be at? Let's see if we can run forward for a little bit and see if we can find it. It has to it has to be in one of these places, right? It would have to be. Sign over here. Like this is right. Mango sorbet? Nice, sounds delicious. Let's go downstairs, I guess. I'm just trying to run away from the ads. I want to see if maybe we can find the Minotaurus. We ran down, right? Did he? Hello? Minotaurus, sir. Where's the Minotaurus? Hmm, we can take this now. We still got a butterfly. Feldspar boots. We still got a butterfly chasing us. Oh, there we go. What are these things we can get? Where are we physical? Oh, we can just bash, bash with everything. Uh, let's have Edna out. She is real good at physical. Don't be fooled by their looks. They're powerful spellcasters. Trust me. I know the small ones are the most trouble. There we go. Rising Not yet. Take this. There we go. Just physical Rising damage can easily kill them. This is gonna be easy. With Eden's ability, we can do lots of physical damage. Ridiculous amount as well. Come here, where you think you're going? Where you think you're going? Oh, that rock didn't work out that well. Let us some SC back. There we go. Take on this one here. Oh god, that's not good. Alright, let's go ahead and 
un discon unarmatized and keep fighting these things by themselves. There we go, that does it really well. Nice. Ready? What a formidable opponent. Not that formidable. What if we gotta do something? Oh, we gotta do something with these things, don't we? Haha! We did have a chest. I saw a set of chests on top of these things before. Let's go and see if we can bring him down to collect whatever loot that's, that's in here. Might as well do some puzzles while we're here. And he plays a really epic music. Right, so the Minotaur is not here. Is it, it gonna be in other rooms? How big is this place? Oh wow, never mind, it's actually massive. Wow, this place is actually really big. And down and down there is how we get to the main cool room, I guess. Hmm. So it's gotta be somewhere around here then. I guess we just gotta go from room to room until we can find it. Some here. And I think what we need is the water shield that hides our presence from Helion in order to get close to it. If we do that, then I guess maybe we can get close enough to attack it and kill it real quick. Let's get past the scorpion here. Excuse me. Get this chest right here. Peach gel, I'm glad I'll take that. Avoid any of the Hellions. Don't really feel like dealing with them if you don't need to. That's our umbrella. Ooh, I wonder if that's any better currently for uh for our Edna. Let's see, Fatspar Umbrella, Fatspar Umbrella. Uh not really. This one does have Earth Attack Power Plus 4 and Art Attack 4, but lowers down the defense. It might be pretty good. Yeah, we could probably replace that. Earth Attack and Art Attack would be a pretty good addition for her. What about the boots though? Feldspar boots, more defense. I wonder who could use that. Maybe um, Rose might be able to use Feldspar boots. It is a great buff, except her art defense is going down. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, we could probably do that. But now there we go. Let's see if you can look for this thing now, the Minotaur. So where's this thing gonna be at? See you on the map. We got some areas to the right we could check out. I don't think it's gonna be anywhere over here. There's a chest though. There are plenty of chests around here. It's basically like a giant arena or something. Earth ring, we'll take that. We can always melt stuff together. Let's go over here and see if we can find the Minotaur. Rabbit ran off to. Let's go check some of these rooms around. Oh, there it is. Wonder if I can use this to get close to it. Oh, nice. Sweet. And there it is. Okay, so it's a monot it's a minotaur. It's it's a Therian monster. Looks like it's an undead monster. Level 33. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid for a level. Its weakness is water. So I guess we just need to use earth and no, its weakness is wind, but it's resistance to fire and water. So we need to have I guess maybe. Oh, I know what we could do. We can pair up with Edna, and then Rose could pair up with Dezel. That'll probably be a pretty good combination. Although we probably should pair up with Dezla ourselves so we can do more damage since it is weak against air attacks. Uh, it is level 33, 18,000 health. That's not too bad. Here's what we could do here. Okay. And then we need to go over to Rose and switch over to Edna as her partner. Yes, I actually learned how to change players finally. Finally figured it out. And apparently this game is two-player, which I never knew. <laughs> Alright, let's go do this real quick. Gather and grant me protection. <laughs> what was that? It sounded like kids crying. Come forth! <laughs> <laughs> you said it was people that had been bullied or tortured. Could it have been children? I'm afraid it isn't unthinkable. I see. So this thing must have been a heli that bullied people? I hear lots of kids crying. I don't know what this is all about. I guess it's a heli that... I guess a heli that maybe hurt and tortured lots of people? Seems to be kids, especially. Don't worry, I'm gonna save you! Right. Liberation from malevolence will save these children. Oh, maybe. Wait, maybe this is a child. Did children become this? Maybe a child? I'm not really sure what Minotaurus is all about, but it is definitely a powerful Hellion, and I hear a lot of kids crying there. I guess we have to find out as we fight it. Okay, let's see what we can, if we can do this here. 
Okay, we stunned it. Good, good. Okay, so it's currently at 8,000 health. We took down 10,000. Wow, that's, that's pretty fast, actually. <laughs> wow, the Dezzles, when Devil Dezzel and Soray Armatize, they're pretty damn powerful. Edna's back there casting. Rose is helping us out. Rose is about to use her uh, special, uh, I guess, hidden ability, hidden art. Let's see, we could probably keep bombarding it with more damage for now. Maybe strike it from behind. Keep it enough more BG to use some more BG uh, combos with it. All right, back to the battle. Oh god, Edna is going down a little bit. So I'll protect her for a little bit. Defensive maneuvers. Concentrate your attacks. Yeah, I heard you. Okay, we're gonna have everybody spread out for now. I completely forgot that we have the ability to uh, switch around with commands with the uh, the semi direction pad, the track pad on the scene controller. All right, we we'll should probably focus our attacks on the boar here. Make sure we can take it out. It is weakness to uh, wind. Too close. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Wind There we go. Did we truly save him? I uh -huh. pray that we did. <sighs> hmm? Where's that going? Uh, we all leveled up and got the blessing orb. Let's see what happens here. Sorry for scaring you. Goodbye. Rest in peace. Edna. Wait, did the spirits of the children turn to Seraphim? Dunno. Let's move on to the altar. Pawan is waiting for us. Yeah. Roger. Ignorance is unforgivable. I finally understand. Oh, Edna. Even if it's a pain, I'll never take the easy way out again. Though it totally is a pain. <laughs> That's the Edna I know. So, she just wanted to- oh god, there's something behind us attacking us. So this whole thing is about Edna wanting to take the easy way of obtaining the, I guess, you know, beating the shrine, obtaining whatever power necessary. And we had to take the hard way by fighting the Minotaur, and that's what well, that was the hard way? Really? Well, I mean, I guess it kind of fit with the whole Ed with Edna's attitude. This is definitely this is definitely a, a a shrine for Edna. Bunch of monsters and I don't know. Bunch of monsters and hardships left and right just to make our job harder. No puzzles though. That's that's the interesting part. No puzzles. It's just this particular mechanic. Huh. All right. Maybe it's just me, but it feels like it's a little bit void of narrative. Oh well. This definitely looks dangerous. You better watch out for its tail movements and attacks. They sometimes go underground. Stay calm and handle it. Let's go ahead and attack them real quick. There we go. Perfect. I'm doing really well here, aren't I? Huh? I'm fine. Let's go on ahead. So nice. All right. Well, actually, we do. I think we do pretty well here. We also got an equipment, I believe, for uh, Rose. Actually, a Floric Dagger. I wonder if that's any better than what she has. Nope. What about the Grim? Nope. Feldspar boots. We do get a new spell. Feldspar boots, don't we? All right. So we need to figure out how to get over there. We need to go. 
I believe, forward? Hmm. We need to get across somehow. How do we get through that side? I guess we gotta go through this door here. It has to be something we gotta crush underneath, right? Yeah, it has to be. Now, how do we get underneath there? Oh, there is a hidden thing, isn't there? Let's see if we can follow that. Over here. Let's see if we can follow about... You can see if we can push down whatever is blocking our pathway here while trying to avoid most of the enemies here. First thing I should probably do is just go ahead and quick save just in case. Make sure we save the progress. Let's go through here and there we go. The main thing that is blocking our way. And we gotta break the other one. A chest we can grab. I don't want to grab too many things here because I don't know if the chests really have anything valuable. But it'd be worth maybe swinging by and get, grabbing them. I don't really know. I feel like maybe we could find or, I don't know, purchase from the store whatever gear that we need. And I think we're okay on items for now. But I could be completely wrong, so, you know, don't quote me on that. <laughs> Let's go through here. Might as well break him down and see what we can find through there. Avoid all the enemies, or majority of them. Don't particularly need any of them. There's a stone slab that's blocking the door there. Should probably go ahead and bust it down so we can escape here later. Later. There we go. So now we can go ahead and exit once we're done with all this. Let's grab that chest over there. And whatever that green thing is. Oh! I, I know what that is. It's a little Norman. Hey, buddy. Fatty G. <laughs> Got any equipment with open skills? I can make it nice and pretty. What does Fatty G can do? Fatigue capability plus 10%, huh? Let's see, fatigue capability might be good for one little dagger, spells power dagger. Let's go ahead and put it on here. There we go. Let's fix it again. If you need more, just spy summon me to Lord of the Lands. No problem, buddy. I wonder if we can collect all of them. That'd be pretty sweet. It's another way through here. We're gonna have to go underneath, I think. No, we can actually go th just through the area up here. Okay, so if we turn left, should be a pathway for us to enter. As we enter the main room, it's currently blocked. Alright, I wonder if we need to touch it or something. Nope, of course, we're gonna have to... Can't bust it down. We're gonna have to go downstairs to get it open. We can go through that side there and take care of it. Let's go and do that right now. Go by the ad here. So we need to head downstairs, break the blocks on the bottom to lower the door. And I think that's it over there. Let's go and bust this down. Okay, one of them is down. Good. I guess now we gotta go to the other to the other side. Maybe we gotta have to switch between one of the other side here. Hmm. All right, let's go to the other side and see if we can bust that down as well. Oh god! Hi. Gotta go ahead and avoid you for now. Door is only halfway open. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to bust open the other side as well to get through it. Let's see if we can do it right now. The music in this place is beautiful. It's great. I don't know, I just wish there were like more forced encounters here. The trial was pretty easy to be completely honest. Alright, now that we got this, oh we got a chest here. I could either collect that. Thank you. Feldspar garment. Might use it for somebody if somebody ever actually needs it. Feldspar, Feldspar, Feldspar uh, garment, you already got it. Parkish green uh, shirt. A garish green shirt. Ooh, that would be much, very beneficial for her. Uh, Crimson Veil. Nice benef benefits for her, but I think we're gonna give it to Lila here. That would give her lots of benefits. Physical attack will be lowered down, but it's not like she really uses a lot of physical attack whatsoever. Alright. So looks like the gate might be down. Let's check on that, see how it is. This is a pretty easy trial. I know not all of them are supposed to be difficult, but I don't know. I felt like this one might have been. If this is it, then I don't know. <laughs> I hope there's another battle towards the end or something. Now we get to this part right here. The Minotauros was born from the spirits of children. Hard to wrap my head around it. What could those kids have been doing in a place like this? Ever since the Age of Chaos began, more and more Hellions have been pitiable types like that one. You don't say. They must have been children whose parents didn't want them. You mean they were abandoned children? That's probably what this place is for, to most people in the area. A gruesome tradition indeed. The parents could disavow their own flesh and blood like that. It's unconscionable. Even though we weren't his own flesh and blood, Gramps still took us in and raised us as his own. Yeah, it's hard to even think about. Hey, come on! 
fuck up. That's right. You saved them in the end, didn't you? You did something good in the world. Yeah. It's gotten into you, Edna. You're being nice. It's not like I can't admit when I'm wrong, you know. Unlike some people, I'm an adult. Is that a fact? Oh well. <laughs> I was hoping that we could have a little bit more interaction between those two, because whenever they have like little interactions between one another, it's actually kinda cute. I like it. Alright, so it looks like the Minotaurus was a combination of the kids that were abandoned here during so probably some long time ago. Damn, that sucks. Well, at least they were not a hell anymore. They can move on to whatever they go next. Let's go and talk to you here, the shepherd. Looks like everything went well. Yeah, though I felt sad for the Hellion. I'll be honest, when Edna walked up to scare it off, I wasn't sure what would happen. It looks like she learned her lesson. Yes, bad Edna. Quite a motley crew you and your friends are. So, does this mean that we've cleared the trial? Yes, it does. Shepherd, Edna, step forth to give a prayer unto the altar. Saray, none of his perviness rubbed off on you, did it? Huh? Can that even happen? Can it? Sorry, sorry. How's it feel? I do feel stronger. Are you off then? Yeah. Thanks for everything, Pawan. There is a cause and a reason behind all things. Grasp it, ponder it, and then proceed. Do not force the answers. Know that the journey of the Shepherd begins by understanding the basis for the emotions that swirl around this world. I will. Thank you. Finally, legit advice! Ta-da! Moron. But still, thanks. <laughs> See you later. Right! So the last spiritual power is wind, right? <coughs> yeah, cute. It's not cute. Your stupid wind stirs up my allergies. All right, apparently his win stores up her allergies, even though he didn't even do anything. All right, well, we got one more trial left over here. Let's see, how do we get there, though? I generally have no idea. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Rio. Welcome to the... Hello, what have we got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts of the treasure we got. I kind of want to say you could rest better. 